Hi, this is Lorraine Fouché, your media specialist here at Barack and Michelle Obama Academy. And today we're just going to do a little deeper dive into my own. I am on the dashboard of a student's login. STAR is linked to MyOn and it provides MyOn with the student's STAR score and populates books based on that level. The top, this is your home tab, library, projects, and a tab where the student's name is provides you a list of progress, interest, activity, journal, portfolio, avatar, and profile. We're going to go under activity. When I'm under activity, it tells the student's list of books that they've read and the list they've finished and any Mayan quizzes that they have taken. But the beautiful thing is, is that now AR is linked within Mayan. So let's show you how that looks. Under library, I'm going to click search. We also have an option to look at the list that I've made or the student has made for him or herself. We also have browse or recommended books through Mayan. I'm going to go to search. At this point, I can use these parameters to filter for books that fit my needs. I can go under story type, and for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to go into short, and I'm also going to go into fiction. But remember, your scholar has the option to use any of these reading levels. I'm going to click on the search icon, and then it brings up books here for me to look through or read. Remember, when you hover over a book, you have the option to dive right in and read, get some more information add it to favorites, and then you can continue to search for books and or take an AR quiz. But remember, we always read the book first before we take an AR quiz. Let's click on this one and start reading. I'm at the last page of this book, but before we go, let's look into these icons we have on the right hand side. Remember, this is a deeper dive. So when I click on other pages, I have the option to go under copyrights and table of contents and it'll bring up where I can skip around and proceed that way and give me a little bit more information about the book. I'm going to click return and as you can see the book is picking up on the last page. If I had the audio up you would hear the person read to me and but it does highlight the words as it goes through. Let's look at dictionary. At this point if I click on a word it gives me the option to view in the dictionary, read from here, read word, or read the sentence. I don't have to click on dictionary for that to be an option. It can be closed. And if I'm unsure of what this word means, it has those options that come up. If I go to dictionary, I can actually type in a word and it will give me the definition as well. Under tools, these are some neat tools. We have brush, highlighter, a sticky note. I can do a square icon, a circle, line, an arrow. I can um, erase some annotations. I can delete annotations and or change the color. Let's go into purple really quickly. So if I click on the brush tool, I can draw or underline. I can make that circle smaller or larger. When I draw, I can highlight if my teacher has given me the, the uh, ability to tell me to highlight things. I can also change colors if I want to highlight some additional things in different colors. So annotation in here is awesome. I also can draw different icons, circle, square. Of course, remember the arrow and the straight line. And remember, I can erase something. If I don't want that line there, I can simply hover over it and erase it. I also have the option to delete or remove all the annotations from this entire book. Because remember, it holds everything. It will save any annotations that you make on any page within the book. Or I can remove them from this just this page. So when I click remove, everything is cleaned off for me to start and continue. I also have a journal button that has some different options inside of it. And I can go to settings. I can slow down the audio that's being read, speed it up, take off annotations, take off highlighted sentences, and remove highlighted words. But even the avid reader loves to have these options on. Once I'm done with that, I can simply click here and go, and it'll tell me the page is read, the time I spent reading, you'll make note of your time so you can actually log those things inside of your Beanstack app. When I click finish the book, I have an option to rate, but we're going to go straight and take that AR quiz. Once it opens up, 